There's a very famous quote in the tech community. It's not about if a hard drive will fill, but when a hard drive will fill. Okay, I admit, it's not very famous, but it doesn't make it any less true. As of yet, there's no single device that can hold information forever, even under normal usage, and it's likely that this device will never be invented because physics. So you should always back up your data if you don't want to lose them. There are a lot of ways to back up the data, but they can be split into two general categories, full backups and incremental backups. Full backup is a backup of your entire hard drive. This is either done by copying all the data on your first hard drive onto your second one, or by mirroring your entire drive image onto your second drive. Full backup provides the most complete and secure backup of all your files, and the recovery time is also extremely fast. Sometimes you just plug the drive back into your computer and everything will function like normal. So full backup sounds pretty freaking great, doesn't it? Well, everything comes with some kind of catch. Since full backup requires you to mirror the entire drive image every single time of backup, they take a hideous amount of time, sometimes even hours or days on end, and not everyone has time for that. Well, that's when incremental backups come in. Incremental backups only back up the new files that's been added since your last backup. What this means is that you'll need to complete a full backup once, and afterwards, the backups will require a much less amount of file transfer. Unfortunately, recoveries from incremental backups are much more troublesome and messy, because it is almost impossible to create a full drive image from backing up incrementally. Some incremental backups also don't delete the files you don't want your backup, so end up with this very messy file that will take a long time to clean up. But despite that, most operating systems such as Windows and Mac OS X also employ incremental backups as their main source of backing up for its ease of use and quick backup sessions. Aside from backup processes, you can also back up your data onto different locations. These locations can be separated into two main categories, local backup and off-site backup. To clear up something before we go any further, storage RAID arrays are not backups. RAID uses a different method of storing data at different locations, and they usually are not as secure. But that is not the topic of this video, so I recommend you to just go research this yourself before you set up your own RAID array. Getting back on topic, local backup is exactly what it sounds like. It backs up data to another storage device in the same structure as the original storage device. This may be a PC with two storage devices, or a NAS with both normal and backup compartments. Offsite backups are the exact opposite of local backups. They back up storage onto external storage devices, such as a external USB hard drive or a NAS. Offsite backups usually provides another level of security with storing the data at different physical locations, making it less prompt to uh, physical hazards such as fire or floods. But anyways guys, I guess that's about it for this video. I wish you learned something new from it, and what type of backups are you using right now? Tell me in the comments below or for Twitter at PrangotaiProd. Subscribe if you love the video and would like to see more in the future. Also, check out our short film channel to get some entertainment in before we upload our next tech video. But anyways guys, I guess that's about it. I'm Alusha from Penguin Tai and I'll see you in the next one.